go bow for the result, though. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I'm the poor wife, fault, and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me, I be a doubt, oh. I no go feed the girl. I no go feed the girl, it's out, oh. I'm a mind as you can talk, oh. I put my life into my job, and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love, oh. Downstairs is even fire than the room. I think we have a pool we're gonna explore later on. I do want to get ready by five, so I'm gonna put on my shoes and get ready. Um, I landed at 9 a.m. in Houston, we're an hour behind, so I landed 9 a.m. or 10, something like that. And I was in the airport trying to upload the um, prep for me for vacation before I literally get in vacation mode. So I was stuck in the airport for an hour and 30 minutes uploading that video. But we got it up and then after that, as you guys can see, I went to Target. And then when I went to Target, I came in and then I checked in and I came back up. And I checked in and I came upstairs. Far it is 4.24. Um, the couple things I need to do is film a hotel place for TikTok. Um, I already filmed for YouTube, which I'm already doing right now. Um, I am going to film a get ready with me differently. Like, I'm going to have multiple get ready's with me. I'm taking advantage of this hotel and this trip, like, OD. I'm staying for four nights, basically five days. So, I'm going to take advantage of every content I can, I can make. I'm going to be editing, doing all that. I'm still having fun, okay? Because I put myself in here to get out of my element. And still have fun you know anyways um what else so i need to film that tiktok and then film a whole new get ready with me separately and then um take pictures and then find a spot to go to tonight i'm so excited so i'm excited about the pictures because bro I, have y'all seen the hotel everywhere is aesthetically pleasing like literally i was like, having anxiety that damn i gotta go downstairs and set up my light and everything and take pictures there no i could take pictures in the hallway chef kids the hallway's even fire even in the room fire so i'm gonna do that um but first i'm gonna go explore the do i have time to explore it right now because i have to shower i don't have time to explore we're gonna do that tomorrow morning because we're gonna be here tomorrow morning so today right now i'm just gonna film for tiktok and get in the shower and start getting ready so i said i could start taking pictures and by like 7 8 15 i need to be outside okay okay people see they go club that day people don't say anything i'm somewhere that they play i face reality because me i know be here but don't know done trying to arrange everything um i tried my best so on this side is my toothpaste the brush to um to brush they got me but i have my own so i'm about to put that in here and then i put my mouthwash in here and then in here is my cotton swipe with my lash thingy and then we have some these and we have my lip balm we have my sunscreen this is my serum and this is my toner and then this is my moisturizer and then this is my 
eye cream, my gua sha, and then my deodorant. And then on this side is my Vaseline baby oil and then my perfume. And then I put all my brushes in here because it's empty and it gives it more space. I put my boot tape here so that I don't forget. And then everything that I need for makeup, like I said, I bought it. Y'all, hold on. Looking at it, it kind of look a little too bright, but we're going to see. But this is where I put all of my makeup stuff. And then, now my shoe's coming over. And I put like all my hot comb, my curly hair. And then all the hair stuff, I put it in here. So, yeah. And then my, and then the closet, I'm not done yet because I'm about to put the clothes in here. So I'm going to turn the light on. So this is where I put the bags. I was planning on putting the bags here, but then it didn't make any sense. So this is all my bags that I brought for the trip. And then these are my shoes. I had to put my clothes here so that it's easier. All right, y'all. Yeah. So I am officially done getting dressed. I took some pictures. And this is what we're wearing. This top is from Fashion Nova. These jeans is from, this pants is from Fashion Nova as well. The pumps are from Shein, and then my jewelry is JBW. This top don't stay, but I'm late. I've been taking pictures the whole time. Um, I need to call my Uber, otherwise I'm not eating. Oh, the earrings are from Pretty Little Thing, so. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. so i am back in my room so i went to i was trying to go to c c side c seaside lounge something like that and it says it's temporary clothes like what do you mean it's temporary clothes i don't know where it's temporary clothes um so i went to lost and found and i will probably just give it a 4.5 out of 10. The only thing I like was the customer service. The food was nothing special. Um, yeah. But the day starts tomorrow. So we're going to see how tomorrow goes. And I did a get ready with me separately. I tried to. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. Yeah. Bye. housekeeping they wanted to know if i need a hand towels honestly i didn't do much and i'm a very clean person honestly i was surprised this is the only mess i made doing my hair i'm not gonna lie and my makeup i'm not gonna lie i did clean up after myself i just cannot do it i cannot do it but um yeah i'm not really a over the person over the place type person and i said houston people are so friendly all like new york city people who are so damn depressing and freaking angry all the time but it's okay i understand it's new york city it makes you like that because i'd be like that sometimes but oh my god everybody's so friendly everybody come up to you talk to you like i didn't vlog yesterday because of the conversations i was having there and back like houston people are so freaking nice okay love it here ready and about content oh my god taking pictures was so hard like so freaking hard i try my best whatever content i get for instagram is what y'all get for instagram i care more about tiktok and youtube honestly um but yeah hey, on the agenda i need to go for brunch i miss breakfast because i needed to sleep i one thing about my sleep is important 
This is not a girl's trip where I need to be waking up at 6 a.m. in the dorm. Like, this is a relaxing vacation. But I'm still going to wake up early. It is 10 right now. So, 10 Houston time. And it's 11 in New York City. So, the agenda for today is for me to um, get go to brunch, um, pool content. So, go to the pool, relax, edit. And then, at the end of the night, um, go to Muse for my, you know, luxury dinner experience. <laughs> at the poolside and be hungry so i'm gonna get dressed and go to brunch i'm just wearing this um sun sundress and if it's like you know because since it's morning i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little bit cold outside but i'm gonna check the weather and then i think i'm gonna go to the their address or i'm gonna just find another brunch spot and go to um i'm waiting off on camp and o2 lounge that's gonna be like the last two days I'm trying to figure out how like O2 Lounge work, but it's so far it's so hard, but I'm gonna keep trying. Um, so I'm gonna find the brunch space to go to real quick. Eat, grab my Anyways, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted by this damn phone. I need to get a camera, I need to stop procrastinating. I'm getting a camera, simple as that. Um, so I'm gonna find a brunch spot and then go eat. I don't wanna be at the poolside and hungry. So it's still like, I think it's about to be 11 now, or it is 11. So by 12, I need to be out of here and eat and then quickly just come back. Everything is um sh like everything's around here. Like this hotel is literally perfect. I know it's pricey, but it's literally perfect for like, am I ashy? Yeah, I am. Um, it's literally perfect for um everything being around you. Like literally it's like 15, 20 minutes around um away from us. So it's convenient. <laughs> So this is my outfit for brunch, this little sunny dress from Fashion Nova. I really don't care to, I need to boob tape this better because it looks crazy. Or I should not just put no boob tape at all. Yeah, I'm gonna take the boob tape out. The lace setting came. So just with that, like you don't even wanna go no more. That is true. Yeah. That is very true. brunch at what's it called um ultimate kitchen food 10 out of 10 i ordered the waffle burger something like that it was so good i ordered the four pieces but i don't i wasn't able to finish it um so the music 10 out of 10 people there 10 out of 10 customer service good i wouldn't say customer service 10 out of 10 but it was good yeah so far i'm having so much fun <laughs>
day yeah i overslept um so that means it has cut my time two hours short um i was supposed to wake up at seven i woke up at no i was supposed to wake up at six i woke up at seven i was tired yeah like i literally overslept like literally um so i just text i just as a text i just um message the restaurant not message called the restaurant and asked what time your kitchen closed and if they accept walking and they're saying that since i'm a party of one um i'm gonna have to walk i'm gonna have to sit at the bar and um the kitchen closed at 11. so i'm still determined to take pictures and be out of here no the, the kitchen closed at yeah the kitchen closed at 11 15. So I'm determined to leave here by 10. So that's in an hour and 50 minutes. I just got home it is 3 a.m in the morning first of all they was trying to take it was trying to take me to another spot baby i need to be in bed i need to be in bed people calling me people text me what is this <laughs> i see my feet but I just met some girls here. They just got in. So cute. So nice. Um, I'm trying to order some food because I didn't spend any money. So I like you stay. <laughs> if you fine, come to Houston. Okay, come to Houston. Let me see. Bloom Hotel. I'm about to order some McDonald's. Yes, it's ghetto. The restaurant I went to, they gave me some raw salmon. I said, boy, what is this? What is it? What room is this? 718. 
I'd rather go get it myself, honestly. Is this McDonald's open? What's open? I want McDonald's, I'm not going to lie. I love Houston. If you don't want to spend money and you fine as hell, come to Houston. Oh, let me charge my phone, order my food, because my phone's about to die. It's on 7%. Let me order some fries. Ooh, you know, I'm about to order some fries tomorrow. I'm going to Salmon Jam. <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to Salmon Jam. Wow, everything is so cheap over here. This is ridiculous. Like, how is this even fucking real, bro? Why are I still in New York City? I really want to fucking know. Like, <laughs> not me drunk as hell screaming at y'all. But I really want to know. I can't wait to move out of here out here you know that's the point of me coming my brother was supposed to come but he betted on me but it's okay he started his intern in the hospital so you know he only have one day off like i'm like bro you really expect me to spend my own money what's wrong with you when did i ever 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 expect to do that he was supposed to come with me but yeah it's okay i haven't spent that much so i'm okay and when i get home i'm gonna ask him to reimburse me because why would you do that to me? What am I doing tomorrow? I'm going to Summer Jam. I, like, literally... I didn't expect to have this much fun. Yo, they talking about we going to the living room. 3, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. What is wrong with you? Let me order some sweet and sour condiments. There we go. I love me some sweet and sour. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm not sleepy, but I'm like hungry. Why is it just let me add one more to this? <sighs> I love you. I love you, Stan. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. Low key. I don't end up no me. We think you may enter. Bro, just text me when you're here. I'll go downstairs and go get it. I don't got time. I do not have the time. I'm ordering my food right now. Whilst my food is being ordered, I'm going to take my makeup off. And I'm going to take my clothes off and drink some water um, later. So my food should arrive in 30 minutes. <sighs> Tonight was just ridiculous. Okay. Oh, bless. <laughs> forever today i'm gonna feel like i've been here for forever so today on the agenda i just woke up brushed my teeth i haven't done my skincare yet because i want to shower so today's the gender just scattered it just was gone it just vanished there's no agenda why because the city girls are in town baby they're in town baby let me make sure because you know my dumb ass will probably book something for next year and not know <laughs> So I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check one more time. Yeah, it says 2023. I can see. Make sure there's no information. I can see that May 2023, 3 p.m. Show starts from three, I think three to 11 p.m. So I'm gonna do that, and then later on when I'm the show's done, I'm going to be outside. Today's outfit is gonna be very calm. I'm doing jeans and a white top. Hopefully that lasts. And I don't get wrong. Look at my face, y'all. Yes, I burned my face. If you watched the Get Ready With Me already, I burned my face. French toast. Yeah. Burned my face. Um, so, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get brunch first when it's like 12 again. And I'm not doing my makeup, so I'm going to shower and put on my clothes. And then go over and go get brunch. Yeah, I've done this outfit before. So, I recreated it with this simple white top but it's from the brand it's very comfortable 
The only thing I regret was not bringing a bra, but I think if I would have worn a bra, it would have been kind of weird, but I'm gonna just keep adjusting it. But this is what it's looking like. I'm waiting for my Uber. I think I'm going to um, Clo, Clo Lounge, something like that. I'm gonna show you guys when I get there. So I'm wearing the famous pink slides, the famous fashion over jeans. This, this outfit went viral, so I'm just recreating it with different jewelry and a different top, so. Um, I don't know if I should put my hair back because the outfit is simple, so the jewelry has to stand out, you know. Fashion tip for me. I've been trapping around the world. I sit on my balcony and wonder how you're feeling. I got a career that takes my time away from women. I cannot convince you that I love you for a living. I be on your line, feelings flowing like a river. You can take me back, do a kiki on the river. Message say deliver, but I know that y'all don't get it. Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? Made me shake his hand when y'all been fucking for a minute. Walk me off the plane because you know that I'm a swimmer. Supposed to be a dog, but you don't put me in a kennel. Girl, put a muscle on it, all that barking over dinner. I was fucking with you when you had a tiny presidential. You got better when you met me, and that ain't coincidental. Tried to bring the best out you, guess I'm not an influential. Guess I'm not the one that's mad for you. All right, y'all. So I am back from some gym. I did not stay in because one, I got a ticket thinking I'm gonna get seated and like you know, while wow, my face is still sitting, it hasn't moved. All I have to do is stuff, um, touch it up, and I was sweating in there. Like everybody's asking me, you not hot? And I'm like, yeah, I am. But I wasn't really hot because this is not thick material. It's like literally breeze goes through it. Like it's, um, I just was not it. It was just not it. I I did have a good view. I was standing next to the section VIP part, um, but it just wasn't it for me. I'm sorry, and the people there was just not my vibe. This is not me. I am. It was giving Miami to point out, which is like little kids. See if I can find some grown folks who do their thing, and you know, look. It's just a whole bunch of. It's like literally spring break over there. It's just a whole bunch of kids. So I was just like, yeah, I will just waste seventy five dollars. I'm sorry, cannot do that. And on top of that, I can't sit down. I gotta wait. And this is the city girls. There's a possibility they're not gonna come on time, so I'm not gonna risk it. So um, I did, you know, mingle around or whatever, um, speak to a couple people, see a couple artists. I recorded just one or two, whatever, and then that's it. City girls are not that it for me to break my neck to go to. So yeah, I'm about to get ready, and I'm gonna go to, to Nomad. <laughs> Gossip and messages, that ain't what we doing Good morning, yeah. It is the last day here, but it's like 12 p.m. today. Today, oh wait, I didn't talk to y'all um, yesterday. So yesterday, after I came back from the summer jam, I did not stay the whole time because, like I said, I bought um, tickets for no reason. I left and I came back home. I'm gonna enter some videos of me with my outfit how I changed up, I made it to a crop top and then whatever. And then I went to Nomad. Y'all, I went to Nomad. The line was outside. The line was literally, I look so good. The line was literally outside of Nomad. So thank God it was just me. So there was like a one table available and my um, wait time was like 30 minutes an hour, but it didn't take that long. She came to find me. And basically Nomad is like a, I don't know, you gotta pay to sit down. So like if it's a group of you, you gotta pay two hundred for your table. And it's just a whole lot of rules. But it was just me, so I have to pay um fifty dollars for my table and you have a tw um two hour minimum or whatever. So boom. That happened, she came to get me. I ordered some chicken Alfredo pasta, I know, but that everything else in the menu, it was just like 
not giving for me. So I ordered that. When I tell you it was busting, it was busting. I didn't care what everybody was. I don't care who was there, who was watching me. I was busting it down, okay? Ooh, shoot. So I enjoyed that. And then I ordered some drinks. It wasn't an alcohol, but it was just like regular drink. Um, it was like a raspberry. It was called raspberry dream. That was good. Um, and then when I was done eating, I ordered some hookah because, you know, I don't want to, I'm not about to sit there by myself just staring at people have fun. Like, I'm not saying smoking hookah is definition of fun, but basically I just wanted to occupy myself. And I don't know why I did it to myself. After I ate a whole full meal, I'm smoking hookah. Well, why would you do that? Like, when I tell you when I came home, I felt like I was going to throw. I felt like I was dying. I felt like I had alcohol poison. <laughs> But then I drank a lot of water, I took a hot shower, and I felt so much better. And I was watching um, Love Island and went to sleep. But in Nomad, I met a couple girls. Ten, it was so, so, so sweet. It was lit. So I think I'm going to insert the video. I already inserted the video with that. We had a section, and we had some, they, they broke out some ego to the table. Um, and then we had some hookah. But I wasn't drinking that much because I just ate. So I just had one shot and then I was just drinking water and smoking hookah. I even stopped smoking hookah. And then it was like 12 and I was just like, hey, I'm about to head out. So I called my Uber and I did, came back home. And then, yeah. So today is the last day. Today's agenda is for me to go to the mall and go find some everyday glasses. Um, so I'm going to go do that. I know it's about to take me a few minutes to even shop. But it's okay. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to go to um, um, Turkey Leg because a friend of mine recommended that to me. So I was just like, you know what, let me just go to Turkey Leg. He said it's lit and the food is there. It's good. So I'm going to go to Turkey Leg and eat because I haven't ate. But I'm going to have a banana and a snack before I go to the mall because one thing about me, I hate in-person shopping. I hate it so bad. Like, I want to ship. I want I want to order online and you bring it to my doorstep two hours later. Like, that's what I want. But I have to go to see what fits my face and everything because, you know, sunglasses can be really tricky sometimes. Um, that's all I'm getting. I'm going to be very disciplined. I'm not about to play no games. And then I'm going to go to Turkey Leg, eat, eat, eat. First time in a long time. to give out because i do want you guys to see me enjoy the rest of the night because today's fun day sunday honestly i'm not in the mood because like i said i'm not a party person so any little inconvenient is i'm sending my pretty ass back into my room okay so i'm gonna finish getting dressed and put my outfit together and i'll get back to you guys 
all right y'all so i am done getting dressed i was going to wear these heels um but they hurt like hell and i was taking pictures the pictures was not coming out right honestly don't care for it it's a simple ass dress i really don't care to post it so i know it's childish i'm wearing another pink i'm wearing pink shoes on top of pink dress yeah i know it's okay but yeah this is what i'm wearing i'm about to go to o2 and let's see what's popping i'm gonna be the latest i want to be out is by one so i was like you know what it's my last day let me have fun and let me stop being a pimp i mean a wimp and yeah y'all let me show y'all the full outfit with everything on i'll be right back so we have white white is giving them a simple barbie type of night and then we have gold gold is kind of giving Mm. 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 What does we get if I go with gold? Or should I just go with white? I've been... Ah, this is so tricky. I'm going to just go with white. I'm going to just go with white. Who's really checking my fashion right now? It's vacation. I don't have all my fits. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was going to do this much stuff in Houston. So I'm on crunch time. My Uber comes in five minutes. I need to gather all my stuff that I need. I'm talking fast because I got to go. Bye. day of this trip <sighs> let me recap from last night last night i went to o2 thinking it was afrobeat night but it wasn't it was like r&b slow music type of night so i asked the waitress um what type of night it was and she confirmed it wasn't afrobeat so i book an uber to living room i got to the location for living room i make sure i check the address on the website address on instagram all that stuff but it wasn't that spot but living room do exist so i'm confused um so you know what honestly like i told you i i was already counting on coming back home so i did come back home i ordered some mcdonald's ate and then i pre-packed and i went to sleep and then it's the last day here oh my god okay i had to change locations so like i said today is the last day i had so much fun honestly if you're thinking about taking a solo trip do it and i'm not just i'm not about to sit here and tell you guys a whole life story because i know this vlog is about to be super duper duper long but i'm grateful that i came i am happy that i actually forced myself to come and had fun like anxiety is not real you just in your head too much and i created so many content for you guys so if you do not have me on tiktok please make sure you follow me on tiktok and you do have me on tiktok make sure you come subscribe on youtube and follow me on instagram because all the content is about to be going crazy i have back to back content for you guys but i hope you guys really 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 enjoy this video because i really broke my neck for this trip like it Honestly, it became a work trip, but I was not, I wasn't mad at it, you know? I was creating content to the point where I felt almost half asleep. I had to drink wine to wake myself up, okay? But I was doing it for you guys. Anyways, I can't even talk right now because I just woke up and I'm still tired. My checkout time is at 12. It is 11.24. I woke up early. I woke up at 10 and then finished packing, like I said, and then clean. The environment i know there's cleaners but i like to keep it clean um for them i will make their job easier for them and then now i'm i have five hours i have four hours till my till i get to the airport because my flight is at seven so i have five hours to waste in houston or around here and then get to the airport so my plan is to stay and hang out in the lobby area for like an hour or two and then go to ultimate kitchen go get something to eat and hang there around an hour and 30 minutes and then call my uber to the airport so i need to be at the airport by 4 30. and then when i'm at the airport i should have like two hours and a half 
two hours and 30 minutes to figure everything out go to the tsa go to my checking point all that stuff and i will be home by 11 45 12 ish so and i'll get home probably like 12 30 12 45 depending on traffic but other than that i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe tell me what you know if y'all will visit houston and if you have visit houston tell me what y'all did um what else i will come back again i'm what i am coming back again um but yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video I got sins on my mind and some M's Got a lot of M's on my mind and my friends Yeah, I keep my friends on my mind I'm in love, I'm in love with two girls at one time And they tens, that's why I got ten on my mind I got M's, got a lot of M's on my mind And my friends, yeah, I keep my friends on my mind I should repent, I need me some Jesus in my life